Odeo et patria, forgotten country. Oh. Scenes from Oregon Hills as the Post Chapel celebrates the 246th anniversary of the Army Chaplain Corps. The Corps was established on July 29, 1775. The proud history of the Corps includes eight Medal of Honor recipients. Hello and welcome to Meet Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, Boy Scouts visit from Vermont, some great news from the legal office, and a back-to-school message from TRICARE. These stories and more, but first, the Staff Judge Advocates Office recently helped get a Maryland law passed that gives veterans with a 100% disability rating a complete exemption from real property taxes. In addition, since it can take years for some to receive the 100% rating, part of the legislation includes being compensated up to three years prior to applying for the exemption. What the final legislation that went into effect does is it goes back three years. So if someone was deemed 100% service-connected disabled, dating back three years from when they submit the, the paperwork for the exemption, they are eligible to get refunds in all the counties in Maryland, and it's mandatory. It's not optional. Before this law changed, counties had discretion, and they could decide if they wanted to be military-friendly, veteran-friendly, and issue the refunds but this makes it mandatory statewide. Fort Meade's legal assistance efforts in helping getting the legislation passed started in 2019 when Fort Meade's Josefi Seltzer met with a disabled client. And so I suggested, why don't you contact your state senator? I helped him submit that request to his state senator for the legislation. He, he it was on his signature, but I, I reviewed it and I gave him some comments. Um, and then I provided written and verbal testimony at the legislative hearings last year and this year to support the legislation, to answer questions, to explain why it's important. The Staff Judge Advocates Office is also working to advance legislation in other areas. We'll explain more on the next edition of Mead Week. Meanwhile, a couple of notes from Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center. The McGill Training Center COVID-19 Vaccination Clinic is now open only on Wednesdays and Fridays from 8 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Vaccines are available to all eligible DOD beneficiaries, including those enrolled in the Johns Hopkins Uniform Services Family Health Plan. Also from Kimbrough, back to school physicals and sports physicals are available. You can call 301-677-8800 to book your appointment. You'll need to bring all the required school and sports forms with you to your appointment. On a related note, here's a quick back to school message from TRICARE. Whether your children are heading back to the classroom or continuing their learning at home, there are many things you can do to make sure they start the school year healthy. TRICARE covers physicals, immunizations and can even help you catch up vaccines if you put any off during the shelter at home orders. You might also want to consider getting an eye exam and dental checkups if it's safe. Your child's specific coverage depends on their sponsor status. Visit tricare.mil slash back to school for more resources and information. Fort Meade recently played host to some special out-of-town visitors. A contingent of Boy Scouts from Vermont camped out at Fort Meade for eight days on a tour of the National Capital Region. We are a small town in northern Vermont. Uh, we come from Barton, Glover, and Irisburg, which are mostly agricultural. About a year ago, they mentioned we should go to D.C., and they just started planning it as just another trip for this year, since this is the last year for our SPL, so we figured this would be a good trip. And uh, my uncle was put in charge of planning it, and he is a uh, retired military, so he decided to send us to Fort Meade. During their visit to Fort Meade, the scouts participated in morning reveille. They raised a flag donated by the Vermont American Legion. After the flag raising, the scouts visited the 2nd Military Working Dog Detachment for a canine demonstration. An interesting note, the three scout masters on the trip all spent a week at Fort Meade in the mid-1980s when they were in the scouts. And finally this week, a quick reminder, this week's scheduled installation town hall was canceled and rescheduled for July 29th. Please stay tuned to all our social media platforms for any further changes. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.